Okay, so Eclipse created this new Maven project for us for our My Cool App project. And remember, it'll always create a palm.xml file for you to start with. So let's go ahead and double click this file and open it up and take a look at it. So thanks to that M2E plugin, we see a graphical view of the palm.xml file. So in the top left, you'll see information about the artifact, the group ID, artifact ID, version, and the packaging. And then over on the right hand side, you have information about the project. So basically that plugin is parsing that XML file and giving you a graphical view. It'll also show you a list of dependencies here that are in the actual palm.xml file. But normally what I like to do is actually click on the link for palm.xml just to see the raw source code for the XML. Because this is where I do most of my work when I'm using the palm.xml file. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other files that were generated by uh, this Maven archetype. So remember, it'll create a very basic Hello World program for you. So under source main Java, then we have our package and then we have app.java. Let's go ahead and open up this file here for a second. So again, a very simple Java app has a main method that simply does Hello World. And then also remember, it'll create a test file for you. So uh, we'll move into app test.java. And this is a very basic uh, JUnit test. And you can use this as a starting point and extend on this code accordingly. Alrighty, so those are some of the files that were generated by this uh, quick start Maven archetype. Now let's go ahead and run this application. So in our app.java, um, actually before running it, let's just kind of modify the print line statement here to say, hello world of Maven. And then let's go ahead and run it real quick as a Java app. And then there we go. We see the output at the bottom. So just like we've learned before, you run a Java app by simply right clicking the file and choosing run as Java app. So that's it. So we can run our Maven project as a Java application here. Now, one thing to notice here on the left hand side is it has 1.5. You're like, what's up with that? Because 1.5 is really Java 5. So they're saying that our project uses Java 5? Get out of here. I'm using a more recent version of Java here. Um, so I'm actually using Java 8 at the time of this recording. So I need to make some modifications. I basically need to tell Maven, hey, this is the compiler version that you should use. So what I can do is down in this section here in lines 13 through 15, I can add some properties. So I need to add some new Maven compiler properties and I'll tell Maven which version of Java to use. So I'll add this one property here, Maven compiler target, and I give 1.8. So 1.8 maps to Java 8. And then for Maven compiler source, I'll give 1.8. So source is the actual Java version of the source code that's accepted. And then the target is the actual generated class files that will run on a given Java version. So if you don't specify these values, the default is 1.5. That's why we saw that earlier. But now here I'm explicitly saying, hey, make use of 1.8, which translates to Java 8. And you can change this based on whatever version of Java you have installed on your computer. Alrighty, so that's good so far. Now let's go ahead and move back and, whoa, what? <laughs> it still says 1.5, but I made those changes. Ah, so here's a little trick here. So you actually have to update your project. So right click on your project, move down to this Maven option here and say update project. And then make sure you have these three check boxes here at the bottom as far as updating the project, refresh and doing a, doing a clean and go ahead and click on OK. And now let's go back and check and oh yeah, this is better. OK, great. So it's really using my compiler settings that I set up in that Maven properties file. So anyway, just a little work around with that item because uh, for me, it's personally annoying. And then I just simply want to make sure that Maven's using the right version for compiling the code and generating the appropriate targets. Alrighty, good job. Um, I'll see you in the next video.